What's up, buggers? So a few weeks ago on stream, we noticed that Celestia tilts, and its tilt isn't constant. The angle of Celestia's tilt changes based on where you look at it from. For example, if you look at Celestia from the Jade Chamber, it has a tilt of about 22 degrees, whereas if you look at it from the Church in Mondstadt, it's much shallower. I came to the conclusion that this implies that Celestia is actually looking somewhere specific. This tilting stuff is a detail that's a bit odd, isn't it? If Mahalia didn't want to imply that Celestia was looking somewhere, they would have just made Celestia a flat, unmoving PNG in the sky. But instead, they made it a flat PNG in the sky that rotates, creating the illusion that it is a 3D object in the sky that is actively observing a specific place in Tavat. So I wanted to find out where they're looking. Hi, I'm Whale Milk, and where the hell is Celestia looking? So, you might be asking, well, how does a PNG tilting in the sky create the illusion of a 3D object? Well, to explain that, let's use this highly expensive model. Pretend that this bottle cap is Celestia. If I tilt this cap in space, but directly towards the camera, the cap has no observable tilt. The horizon of the cap from where we observe it from is parallel to the ground. However, if you change your perspective, the true tilt of the cap reveals itself. And if you look at it from a bunch of different angles, then you might be able to deduce where the cap is tilting and a lot of other information. Now, imagine we only had a flat PNG of this bottle cap, but still wanted to create the illusion that it is an object in 3D space. We can make it so that when observed from different angles, we can tilt it to different degrees based on the camera's coordinates. This is exactly what I think Celestia in-game is trying to do. So I set myself on the task of figuring out where exactly it's looking. Before I go about solving this, I want to give a bit of a rundown of high school trigonometry because I used a lot of it here to figure this out and I want you guys to actually be able to follow my thinking. So trigonometry is math relating to triangles and triangles are actually a really, really cool shape because they have some very regular rules that are easy to follow, which is awesome because triangles are everywhere in our world and in 3D space in general. One of my favorites is the fact that you only need two pieces of information about a triangle in order to figure out everything else you might want to know regarding that triangle a single angle, and a single length of one side. You can also do this with two sides, but you can't do it with two angles. Everything else you can figure out with a little bit of math. For example, let's take this right triangle that has a length of 5 here and an angle of 35 degrees, sure. And we want to find the rest of the side lengths of this triangle. We could easily solve for whatever other side we want, either the second leg or the hypotenuse, with a simple equation. Let's solve for the other leg of this triangle because we're going to be doing that a lot. If you remember, there are three trigonometric ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent. These describe the ratios between certain side lengths as they relate to the angle. Sine is the ratio between the opposite sides of the angle and the hypotenuse. Cosine describes the ratio between the adjacent side to the angle and the hypotenuse. And tangent describes the ratio between the opposite side and the adjacent side of the angle. In this situation, we want to find the adjacent leg to the angle. So we set up a basic equation, tangent of 35 degrees equals the opposite, 5 over the adjacent x, the unknown variable. We do a little bit of algebra, multiply here, divide here, and we find that this triangle length is 7.14 units, let's say centimeters just for simplicity. Got that? Okay. Store that in your brain while we get back to Tavex map. We'll be using that in a bit. So Tavat's map in-game is actually not all that useful because one, it doesn't have a scale ruler in the corner like most good maps, and it doesn't let us zoom out very far. The second problem there is where the official Tavat interactive map comes in handy. That thing lets me zoom out way further than the in-game map allows me, and so it gives me more room to work with. I took a screenshot of the map zoomed out a reasonable amount to give a workspace to do everything we need on and put that into Photoshop. The first step in finding where Celestia is looking is to figure out where it actually is from a top-down view, aka where is it on the map. This is easy to do if you're familiar with Minecraft speedrunning or have played Miasmata and literally nothing else. Using triangulation to pinpoint where Celestia is involves looking at Celestia from two points on the map, ideally points pretty far away, and drawing a line from us to where Celestia is, and where those lines intersect is where Celestia is in absolute space. This was pretty easy. I went to the Jade Chamber, looked at Celestia from there, and took a screenshot of my cursor, and did the same at the top of the church in Mondstadt. I then took those screenshots and overlaid them on top of the zoomed out map, using landmarks as a guide for scale, and then drew red lines representing my point of view towards Celestia. Where those red lines intersect is where Celestia is. Okay, that was actually the easy part. Our next steps are going to be quite convoluted, so let me walk through my reasoning. To figure out where Celestia is looking, we need to go back to triangles. Remember when I said you need two pieces of information to figure out any, everything about a triangle, a side, and an angle? Well, the puzzle of where is Celestia looking is just solving one big triangle, the parameters of which we don't know, like, at all. But if we can figure out one, 
the angle at which Celestia is looking, and two, the height of which it is off the ground, then we can calculate where on the map they are looking. So let's take this one step at a time. Let's go back to that bottle cap. Remember, as you start looking at it from different angles, the inclination of the cap seems to change? Well, we can use a logical consequence of this to make an educated guess as to where their line of sight is. Now, think of it like this. If you are looking straight on at the cap, then you are zero degrees from the point of observation, meaning the degree of incline of the cap is observed to be zero. But as you start to rotate around the cap, the greater the observed incline gets until you reach 90 degrees from the point of observation and you get the greatest observed incline the cap can have. This logic is going to be used, but in reversed. Because we don't know Celestia's line of sight, we have to find the point that is perpendicular to Celestia's line of sight, or in other words, a point where Celestia's tilt is the greatest. I found this point on the edge of the map on Mount Hulao, and found that its angle was around 39.3 degrees using Photoshop measurement tools. I just assumed that because this was the steepest angle I could find, that line of sight to Celestia is perpendicular to their line of sight. This is a huge logical leap, but we're going to assume this is true just for the purpose of, you know, a fun puzzle to solve in content. So on the map, we draw the line of sight that is used looking at Celestia, and then draw a line perpendicular to that, in this case, this yellow line. So we now have a huge bit of information. That yellow line is roughly where their line of sight is. And I could have just stopped there, right? I probably should have stopped there, to be honest, but I kept going. I wanted to figure out where on this line the line of sight was centered. What are they focusing on? And for that, we need big triangles. The triangle we can draw to figure out where they're focusing looks something like this from this observation point on Mount Hulao. The hypotenuse here actually represents their line of sight. The height is how far above the ground Celestia is, and the base is how far away from the focus of their line of sight Celestia is. I want to find the base, as that will allow me to plot where they're looking on the map from a top-down view. But in order to find that, we need to, again, find two things of the triangle. We do have the angle, as we can measure the incline that Celestia is at that one point on the map, but we need to find one of its legs. The hypotenuse isn't feasible to find, and the base is the th length that we're actually trying to find, so I had to find the height of Celestia, which is good because that's something I can figure out with other information. To find Celestia's height, we have to draw another triangle that has more information than we have with our problematic triangle. But because we can choose what triangle to draw, we can choose one that has way more information on it, most notably a length of a base. So I found a nice point of observation to do this that had a landmark point I could identify on the map that was at sea level while also being able to see for Celestia. First I measured the angle of incline to Celestia, and then I had to pause to set a scale for the map. Genshin Impact's in-game map does not have a scale marker built into it, so we had to build our own. I used a random quest I haven't completed because I don't do my quests, walked 500 meters away from it as directly east to west I could, and then I measured how many pixels are between the center of my cursor and the center of the quest notification. I then used that pixel measurement to scale how far away from that point on the coastline Celestia was, and that gave us a leg of the triangle we needed. Then with some math, we found the height of Celestia from sea level. Tangent of... 32.7 degrees equals Celestia is 1853 meters off the ground. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 0 0.01. That was amazing. Okay. <laughs> I'm so giddy. So that's really, really cool. Which is about 1,853.01 meters. Now with this information, we're on the final stretch. We can plug the height we found into our other triangle, and now we have our golden two pieces of information. Do some even more math, which I'm showing on screen now, and we can find that all the information about this triangle, the other angles, the length of the hypotenuse, and most importantly, the base. Finding the length of the base, we concluded that Celestia's focus is around 1,516.67 meters away from where they are, which correlates here on on the map. Now, okay, don't get me wrong, this could be disgustingly wrong, and there are a lot of points in this process that I could have messed up or gave some slightly wrong numbers, and that adds up pretty fast. But as far as I know, this is the first time somebody has actually done something like this, so I'm fine if there are errors. Somebody more methodical and probably smarter than me can take this method and either correct it or just do a, a better method or a combination of the two. But either way, I find this information really, really interesting. What's north of Storm Tower's layer that Celestia is looking at. What could they be trying to observe? Are they actually observing anything? It's also cool to know that this is where they are on the map, absolutely. 
It's also fun to know that they're about 1800 meters off the ground. And I know I'm not probably figuring something out here. I'm not coming up with brand new information. It's probably just a cool detail that Mahoyo put into the game and doesn't actually have any meaning or consequence in it. I just thought this was a cool puzzle to do. So if that point in the map turns out to be literally nothing, cool. Uh, this was just a fun little experiment. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, learned something and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,